Stop. 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 Damn. Well. See, that's why I'm recording. Because the cops ain't gonna believe this shit. voted for Donald Trump, I will never not know that about you. And that's something we'll both have to live with. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. I will be leaving the country and my dad will be staying blocked after this election. See you never. Fuck this. Bye, bitch. This is all break, right? Like, like, we're just gonna wake up tomorrow morning and everything's gonna go back to the way it, like, it'll all, it'll be a psych. It'll be like a really bad dream and none of this will have ever happen, right? Like, it'll be like the first time and then we're all gonna pull through fine in four years, correct? Please? Someone tell me? I can tell you one thing right now, marriage is the farthest thing from on the table currently. So they really, they screwed the pooch on that one if they thought that any of this was going to actually help with the whole family and kids department and, and lowering birth rates because that, no, nah, nah, -uh, not even. Any semblance of thoughts I had or hope for that is completely going to be a no thanks for me, love. Do you think I would ever even dare bring a child into this country now? It was rough before. Now? No. That's cute. And the men, don't even give me, no, don't even give me started about dating. To think, I was still entertaining a few moderates here and there sometimes. No, honey, no. Not even close. That's never goodbye. Now, I'm about to say something, and some of y'all are going to get real mad at me, but honestly, at this point, I really just don't care. Um, I genuinely hope an asteroid hits uh, the United States of America. I have given up on humanity in this country. I think it'd be better if, honestly, we were just all gone. I think we should just have another, like, mass extinction. I think that would really solve everybody's problems. Because I, I, I just kind of am done. I don't think we, people, some people just can't come back from this, bro. I think we just need to start over. Just wipe it out, start over. That's how God would do it. That's how God would do it, just saying. Me and my family are leaving. Um, just talked to my mom about it. We're we're leaving. We're seeking an asylum somewhere else. But I just want to say this. In the states where the votes mattered the most, 69% of white women in Pennsylvania voted for Donald Trump. <clears throat> and then I believe it was like 67 or 68 percent of white women voted for Donald Trump in like Michigan and all the other swing states where it really mattered. White women came in, turned up for Donald Trump. Black people hear me and hear me well. This is not going to work out for us. It's not. I'm leaving. I'm not staying for the handmaid's tale. I'm not. And not only that, our rights are gone as we know it. So... Donald Trump literally said he wanted to take it back to a time specifically where black people's votes didn't matter. They even tried to take that shit to the Supreme Court and try to get Kamala removed from the race. Oh, well, Kamala, you know, she she should have helped me with my, my child support. How, how, well, you know, hey, she didn't win. Congratulations on that part. But you do understand that with no abortion rights... You about to be the pappy. So, you know what? If this is what y'all wanted, I'm happy for you, America. I'm happy that y'all got the results that y'all wanted since he won the way that he won. I'm happy y'all got what y'all wanted. But I am leaving. You know what they say. If you don't like it, you can leave. And baby, you ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to worry about me. I was just walking down the street to go get my medication because I'm out and I need it for today. <laughs> And I saw a woman walking her two kids, and she had this look on her face. And I looked at her, we made eye contact, and we both kind of nodded. Like we were both just devastated. And you could just tell in her, in her eyes. I 
I can't believe this country did this again. <laughs> Why did I let myself have hope? <laughs> I just texted my best friend. My best friend of 14 years. Literally half of my life. I'm 28. And I asked them who they voted for. They said Donald Trump. And they said, I'm assuming you voted the opposite. And I said, yes. And then my friend texted me and said, will you still be my friend? is my best friend. I don't even think you fucking assholes realize what you did. Now because you elected Trump in office, I gotta go and spend fucking less for gas, less at groceries, have a savings account that my kids can actually be proud of. We could actually do something with it. I don't know. Maybe like a vacation to Florida or something. Who knows? Now I gotta get used to a strong economy, secure borders, no new wars. What kind of shit is that? Make America great again. It is not over for Kamala. And all of you celebrating a Trump victory before the votes or even fully counted, may I remind you that a lot can change at the last minute. And even if we do fail to win the presidency for Kamala, after all the work I've done for white dudes for Kamala over the last few months, we will return in 2028. Kamala 2028 will be the greatest political comeback the world has ever seen, not just America, but the world. And I firmly believe that Kamala is still the best person in the whole of the United States to be the president of this country. And if we band together now, if we pull back some of those white dudes who went for Trump this time, by growing the white dudes for Harris campaign, we can make a permanent change. We can put, a, put the MAGA crowd away once and for all. <laughs> and I'm dispirited. I am dispirited by what has happened, but we can't just give up. We can't just stop now. It's so close. It was so close. There's just so much hate in this country. So much hate and misinformation from Elon. And this, we've got to fight back. We've got to fight back. Kamala 2028. We're coming back. We love Trump! We love Trump! We love Trump! We love Trump! If you are seeing this, just know that the great deplorables of the United Kingdom love you. We are with you. We stand with you. And we want you to succeed. Forget about the people of London. Forget about the establishment. Forget about the detractors in the fake news media. The real people out there in the United Kingdom. We love you, Mr. President! Two, already. I have lost two friends today because of this election. Not because we had a difference of opinion, but because they're dead. No, I don't think y'all get it. I just woke up and I found out that the big motherfucking orange stupid Oompa Loompa motherfucking ass is back in office. I broke up with my boyfriend last night because he told me he regrets meeting me because I spoke about how I should have my rights. And then I have to go plan a Disney trip. <laughs> Should be fun. Should be graceful. No, wrong. My family has been in a war for the past, like, two weeks with each other. We're not on good terms. None of us are happy. Okay? And let alone, I have to sit for the next hour with my sister and her toxic-ass motherfucking boyfriend. You think I'm doing okay? You really think I'm doing okay? Oh, oh, and I'm hungover.
and I'm hungover. Let's just get that into the fucking playbook. Why not? What else can go wrong? Give it to me, motherfucking world. I feel absolutely so betrayed by my country right now. It's so frustrating. I don't even know what to say right now. We tried, okay, to everyone from other countries that are saying America failed. We tried. The system is inherently flawed, and we tried. And to anybody who follows me on TikTok, if you are happy about the results of the election, unfollow me right now. Get off my page. Do not talk to me. I don't care if I've known you for years. I do not want to talk to you ever again. The fact that you would purposefully vote for somebody who wants to take away my rights as a woman. Don't ever talk to me again. Quick question. So does anybody know how to find or hire a hitman or woman? Um, Because we don't want to be sexist. So, but I think we could pull this off collectively. If you want to chip in, DM Forgive me for being a little emotional here, but what the fuck is going on? People in the future are going to look back at this time and they're going to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? Because we were progressing when Obama got elected. I really feel like we were, we were progressing. We were going in the right motherfucking direction. But then Trump comes in and he gives a voice to the voiceless. He gives a voice to the criminals, to the racists, to the white motherfuckers who want to be back on top. I don't want to touch another man with a 10 foot motherfucking pole. Ladies, where are we going? 4B movement for real. Fuck men. Fuck all of you. And fuck you ugly dumb bitches who voted for him too. You guys are a piece of shit. You guys have internalized fucking mistakes misogyny and you're dumb you're stupid oh and all the climate change shit going out the motherfucking window because it's a hoax bro we're cooked we're cooked this is our last motherfucking year on this goddamn planet and to be able to appoint three more fucking supreme court justices or whatever the fuck he's he's able to get more motherfuckers that believe the same beliefs that he believes into office and i guess that's what you guys want that's what you guys want you guys want to be radical christians you guys are jesus christ right <laughs> I'm not joking when I say I mean this in the most disrespectful, mean way I can even say it. But if you voted for Donald Trump, then you don't deserve any part of my life. Um, you don't deserve to be part of my children's life, my husband's life, uh, my extended family's life. Um, none of it. You don't get any of it. Um, you have... Uh, directly infringed upon the rights of people that I love, people that I care about. Um, you know, you have infringed upon the rights of people that I don't even know. Um, and this election has really shown that American values do not align with my values um, as a person, as a human, um, as a social worker, as, um, you know, someone who actually cares about other people. Um, so, you know, if you find yourself as you were one that voted for, you know, the Republican Party, um, no, thank you. What is wrong with you? I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm literally sick. I'm literally sick to my stomach. What has happened to America? What has happened to democracy? What has happened to freedom? I'm done. I'm done. I'm this is a message to anyone who follows me. If you voted for Trump, unfollow me and block me. If you didn't vote, unfollow me and block me. The fact that it's this close means I've lost all hope in the American people. Like, it should not be this close. Why would anyone vote for this person? He's so evil. He's so demented. I, Kamala's not perfect. We all know that. We all know that. She is not a convicted felon, rapist, crazy, fascist, dictator, psycho. I think it's so ironic how liberal women and women who voted for Kamala are saying that for the next four years, they're not going to sleep with another man. I find it so ironic because at least then you won't need an abortion. It took you Donald Trump to get in office for you to stop being a whore. See, things are already starting to change for the better. Damn! 
emotional. Damn it! This is not okay. This is not okay. This this this, this simply will not do. And this is not okay. And I'm not good with this. This is fucking, this is sick. This is sick. That should not be there. And they're wrong. And you're wrong. And everything is wrong. And this house is not even my house. You just bought it for me and I don't want it. I think the hardest part of all of this is just like, thinking about all the men who were just like, the economy, woman in my life. The economy, woman of my life. The economy. <laughs> Another NBC News exit poll in Wisconsin suggesting this Dasha Burns of NBC News suggesting that Trump has doubled his black support in Wisconsin. Wow. Trump is polling apparently about 20% of the black vote versus 78% for Kamala Harris. Four years ago, he won 8% of black voters in Wisconsin. I mean, you're, you're, looking, at, you're looking at identity realignment yes. happening in yes. real time in this That's election right. cycle. It's well, that didn't go the way we had hoped. Not at all. Or expected. Yeah, I mean, for him to win the popular vote? Are you kidding me? I did not know our country was that full of racist bastards. Mm -hmm. it, it's gonna be an all out war on the LGBTQ plus on women. our on women on people of any color other than blanco <laughs> or blanca or whatever um no they don't care about the blanca it's just the blanco yeah so uh better go out there and get you a bible because you're gonna be needing that shit now oh no we uh you know if they follow the handmade sale we can't read oh that's right that is true i'm too old to i can't be a handmade um, I would probably get stuck being a Martha. Um, actually, no, I'd be on the wall because I ain't going. I'm not going back. <laughs> I'll be on the wall. Um, I, I am so very saddened for our country. Yes. And what that orange Donny Two Scoop baboon ass has done to our country with the division, the open racist, hateful comments, and just giving permission for them to be jackasses and flannel wearing mouth breathing baboon mindless assholes. I'm sorry, I'm a little okay. heated. Yes, yes. So today I, I've decided that today I am sad. And tomorrow I am going to find how do we stop him from doing the things that the Heritage Foundation wants to I do. Know where to stop him. <laughs> but you're gonna have to get both just saying hmm. quietly under my breath hmm. no it might be a wait and see kind of thing for a minute but i guarantee you there's people that are out there ready to fight the whole world race. is looking at america going what the fuck i yeah. didn't I, he's made a laughing stock of us and and all you magas One day you're going to regret what you've done because it's going to come home to you as well. Yes. And fuck you when it does. Drink coffee. Donald Trump is president and I think all women should stop having sex for the next four years. In protest and protection of your bodies. As we know, if that little baby inside you gives you any trouble and you need an emergency health care, you're fucked and you're gonna die. I think that is sufficient enough reason to stop having sex. Don't you agree? This vote wasn't a vote for Americans, this vote was for men. And unless we want to become the handmaid's tale, then us women need to protest because this is some buttery bullshit. I'm sorry to the women and minorities who aren't going to get the help that they need in the next four years. I'm sorry for the people who are impoverished who are just going to keep dying from starvation and lack of health care and lack of governmental support. People are actually praising this guy and it's a freaking joke. Look at the states he wants. You won't catch me there. You'll catch me in New York City. And I'm sorry to all the women who are going to suffer in these bumpkin-ass, small-ass little towns because of this. 
Reason why I'm a New Yorker and always will be. Fuck Florida. I just, I voted. Yeah. And um, it was weird because they wouldn't let me leave unless I voted and it wouldn't let me select Trump. No way. Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm literally telling you, like, I just voted Kamala. You don't vote for anybody if you're going to vote for that piss ass cunt. They, but the thing is, they wouldn't let me leave. And I was, I was literally sitting there, like, in the booth. The law. They would have to let you leave. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You can't. Don't even tell me that. I can't. I won't even accept that. I'm sorry. Was something wrong with the machine? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just fucking around. I'm just fucking around.